Brucey. Bruce is back. He's chasing the oh, cow. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> His little tater tots wagon like crazy. Oh, I love him. I have to guess he probably has to go potty. <laughs> so I'll be okay. right back. All right. <laughs> Wait, I mean, I have my headset. So I can you do. You. But I'll be right back. Okay. Come on, Bruce. Audience should be right back. I'm going to continue on, working. Come on, Brucey. Anytime I crack a door, he's like, like busting through it like fucking Kool-Aid man. So I'm trying to teach him to just fucking wait. <laughs> he won't do it. I'm going to finish what I'm working on and get a refresher on coffee, and then maybe we can talk about our topic-ish. Yeah, kind of noodle about <laughs> yeah. what's been going so, on. Uh, you know, welcome to Bonus Experience, since we're recording at this point. We're Monica and Ray. You know us. You love us. That's why you're we're here. We're a podcast with a deeper look at tea. Tea, and the play experience, and the finer details of running and writing games, and having to work from home. Uh... With the 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 quarantine times, uh, we we our schedules are weird. So now we're uh, we're doing kind of an unscripted hangout Alexa. thing to, to to make that a little Stop. bit better. Uh, and that's why you're here, just sort of listening to us idly talk to each other. Yeah, <laughs> you know. We also realized, um, and we'll get into this. Normally, we have a, a kind of a buffer of episodes in the in the shoot. Yeah. to edit and upload and we have no buffer we, didn't, we, <laughs> so we were up. like ah. but we had uh, only a few ideas of what to do and no spoons which we, with which to do them my spoons are all in the garbage disposal so yeah, sometimes, do sometimes kind of the noodling. spoons are just in the dishwasher or the garbage disposal it's not a good place for them they're gonna get ruined Ugh. anyway this tea is very good I like it very much all right. This was the vast majority of the tea that was thrown overboard at the Boston Tea Party. Civil disobedience. Fuck your property. Be gay, do crimes. Donate to a bail fund. Uh, we should use some BXP money and donate to a bail fund because we have a lot of it right now. Hey, that that is a great fucking idea. Let's do it right now. Hang on. Okay. We'll do it live. All right. <laughs> Wait, can I log into? I got a new computer. I don't know if Patreon will let me log in. <laughs> Normally, I'm not pro like talking about or feeling like i'm bragging about not bragging but like flaunting the fact no, that i, I did it i, I did a mean. good thing you know but yeah. right but right now i i want i have we have an audience and i know i personally have something of an audience it's not a huge audience but it is there uh and so <clears throat> i don't know i think right now at least it's important to be like hey i made this reasonable donation that I think people can match. And if you want to match it, you should do that because I've inspired you, you know, and conv not convince, but like inspire and encourage people to also be helpers. And, you know, I don't know where the rest of that was going. It seems weird to like plan this all out in recording. Like you said, uh -huh. I think I'll bookmark these sites and then we can talk about it when we're not being recorded. So it's not like, a yeah. weird publicity stunt right yeah <laughs> is that okay yeah it's fine um i'm i'm good right, with cool. that but but i you know know that uh know that we're we're gonna put money from our audience towards doing some good yeah and if that we inspires really appreciate, you to do some good we really too, appreciate the donations yeah especially like we said especially with the fact that lately things have been so fucking weird the fact that you're even giving us a dollar is incredible um and we, like Monica and I, are doing just fine. And there are a lot of people who aren't right now. <laughs> so we're going to scoop some of that money out of our Patreon and put it toward a few bail funds and a few mutual aid funds that are local to us. Cool. Yeah. Help our community, yeah. which will help us make podcasts. See, it's 
fucking goes back. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, if that inspires you to do some good, please do so. So like I said, we normally have a, uh, we normally have a buffer um, yeah. and a pretty good list of like different tasks that we want to work on. Mm -hmm. um, but with how weird things have been, <laughs> it's uh, actually been aggravating some of my bad brain shit. And Monica, for her part, has been like, we need to record. We need to record. Here's some, here's some topics we need to record. And I've been like, okay. <laughs> and then just sort of doing that like, peace out vanish gif because <laughs> i'm just i'm i'm kind of a mess um and then this weekend everyone else in my house also <laughs> became a mess so i was like okay i'm the only adult left <laughs> i gotta pull it together <laughs> so i was trying to take care of basically a kid that wasn't feeling so great a grown-up that wasn't feeling so great and then our other kid, who's just sort of like an internet gremlin now, like I'm worried about the boy. We need to disconnect him. <laughs> um, so then uh, Monica was like, let's just do this coffee hangout. Let's just, you know, early morning, we'll just chat about what the fuck ever. We won't have an outline. And then this morning I was like, why don't we talk about mental health issues and what it means to be... A, a content creator, which I hate, but I can't think of a better <laughs> phrase it. What it means to be a content creator when you've got mental health issues and can't always be creating that content. <laughs> like, how do you start feeling better faster? How do you maybe just get your work done anyway? How do you plan ahead for knowing, okay, I'm, I might start feeling shitty. Like, you know, well, the different techniques. Big different, book. Uh, <laughs> Bonus experiences, big book of coping mechanisms. <laughs> <laughs> the bonus experience, look and find coping mechanisms. <laughs> coping mechanisms. <laughs> Here's our favorite coping mechanisms. <laughs> I actually did like a real shitty little outline, but you it's did? just for me. Okay. What do you, you can't what, have it. All right, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm not really looking at my uh, recording window because I'm working. All right, I'll just ask. Like, you know, we'll just no, jam meant, on it. I meant like if you had a thing to look at anyway, I wasn't going to. Yeah, yeah. That's fu fucking whatever. <laughs> Jesus. No, you, God. First, first, you're like you can't have it, and now you're mad because <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> God. Um, Monica. Yeah. When you're not feeling so great, mm -hmm. how do you start to feel? How do you make yourself feel better? Uh, cool. <laughs> how do you try to accelerate that? What do I, what do, I do for self-care? Yeah. Uh, I could be better at this. I uh, could too, honestly. But I, I managed to come up with a couple of things that I'm, I'm pretty uh, good at, I feel like. So for me, I think it's... Um, it's a lot of remembering to stop. Remembering to stop? Yeah, because I'm one of those people who will just keep going. Like, do you have that? Oh, yeah. That, I do. Like, yeah. ADHD yeah. compulsion to just keep going. That's so um, weird because I have, like, I guess I have the two extremes of feeling bad. There's the feeling bad I can't do anything and the feeling bad of I can't stop doing yeah. everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I will sometimes... Uh, workaholic to cope, which is not great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we'll just like go, 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 go. Uh, sure, I can. I yeah, sure, I can write five hundred thousand more words. That's fine. I like money, and also the if I'm working, I'm not thinking. Mm. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, so sometimes I have to be like, no, bitch, take a nap. Get in the bathtub. <laughs> get a little sippy. Get a little nappy. Yeah. Have a snack. Walk Take away. Put turn your phone off. Play That's a fire so emblem or an Animal Crossing. <laughs> I've been trying to get better with that when it comes to when it comes to like mindless repetitive like fidgeting. Like like I'll get stuck on Twitter. I'll just be looking at Twitter for an hour, two hours, where I have oh, to yeah. catch myself realizing I'm not having fun doing this, but yeah. I feel like I can't stop. Yeah. 
Like, I, I, you have to be mindful enough to go, you can absolutely stop. And actually, like, close the phone, set it down, and just go, I don't know, go sit outside and look at your dog. Yeah. Take, <laughs> like, do take a else. walk. Kiss a work. partner. Play a game. Do like, But, like, a board game or whatever. Something that doesn't Verb work. a noun. Verb a noun that isn't do more work. <laughs> that isn't <laughs> refresh a Twitter. <laughs> right. Do not refresh a Twitter or a Facebook. Um... I don't know. My 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 Instagram's pretty chill. Instagram's okay. Oh, yeah. Insta. Yeah. yeah, I have I have an Insta, and it's just like cosplayers and pictures of people's food <laughs> and pets and places they've been. Yeah. Well, well, was pictures of places they've been. Now it's mostly just pets, food, and people taking pictures of themselves in their costumes in their house. Um, uh-huh. And so, like, that's that's chill. I can look at Instagram. That's like visiting people vicariously um but like do not refresh a twitter do not check a no. facebook don't look at your email uh-huh. don't go write. watch it go watch a video on the bon appetit youtube channel oh, i love food we call it food you'll tube feel, you'll feel so much better <laughs> yeah any of them any of especially ones with brad or sola those are currently my two favorites i love claire don't get me wrong <laughs> but brad and sola are now my two favorites um i kind of take it the next step from like take a break and i I like to do what I call radical self-love, okay. which is I just let myself do absolutely nothing and feel no guilt for it. Um, the only time I've been able to really like, efficiently pull that off was on my birthday because uh-huh. I kept telling myself, it's my birthday. <laughs> and I just did nothing and felt no guilt for it. And I felt great the next day because I, I didn't let myself stress out about, I'm not doing the things that I should do, which is such a common fucking thing for me yeah i uh feel the same way often um yeah and occasionally do have to give myself a vacation yeah a one day vacation um also i think it's helpful to uh occasionally take a day off work call out once they will not be mad at you Mm -hmm. Uh, they might depending on how shitty your job is but they'll live (laughs) so (laughs) I understand that for some people that the reality of just begging off of work for a day is not as feasible as it is for other people. But like, if you can switch... We're with you you, in solidarity. Yes. If you can switch a shift or whatever, uh, or whatnot, um, then, then do it. Uh, unfortunately, like my, my go-to excuse for begging off of work for a day just to reset my brain used to be, "Eh, I'm not feeling great. Um, which is not a good excuse right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so no, it is not. Now I've been saying that I have things to do. <laughs> I got something I have to take care of because we're all we're all remote. Um, I'm taking the day off because I don't want to fucking work. <laughs> right. I, have, I, have some, some, I got some stuff fly. I have to take care of. I don't know how long it'll last, so I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna be signing in. And if I sign right. in, if I feel like signing in later, or if I have time, I'll let you know. And I don't. It's just that's just me taking my mental health day. Yeah. Um, one morning, I just texted, and I was like, "I have some things to take care of this morning. I'm 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 gonna be logging in like an hour late, and uh, you know, you can just send me what I need to do for the rest of the day, and I'll do it when I get in." And my supervisor was just like, "Okay." The thing I had to do was sleep for another hour. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking valid <laughs> right like That's i just so good i just woke up and i was like it's not happening right now i'm gonna sleep in and <laughs> the the blessing of working from home currently is that i can do that and be like mm, stuff doing around the house they don't know if the plumber's coming they don't <laughs> fucking know deborah i need an extra hour the the uh the exorcist is coming by <laughs> I just don't. I we just, got hall demons. We yeah. got hallway demons. The yeah, exorcist got, is coming. Yeah, I gotta take care of this. I'll be in at nine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, taking taking time for yourself is the most important. There isn't anything you have on your plate right now that will not live for one more day. Yes. Even if, if you're, you're on a tight deadline. One more day will not hurt it. If your job is, like, so critical that if you miss a day, everything falls to pieces, they need to be paying you more. Yeah, they really do. I mean, that just sort of goes for all of us. They need to be paying all of us more. (laughs) (laughs) But that's a different fucking podcast. Yeah, that is a different. 
Um, I also, for, uh, th these are like the really simple, like everybody says these, but honestly, I mean, they're the, like the, the, the only things that I can really get like right when I n realize I'm not feeling good is, um, take your fucking medication. Yeah. Take it on time. Take it at the same time every day. I have an alarm set on my phone. I have an alarm set on my echo. I have literally everyone in my house knows 11 o'clock. Rachel's supposed to take her medicine. She'll feel really weird if she doesn't take her medicine at 11. Um, if you don't have people in your house to keep you accountable or alarms are kind of getting phased out, you can do what I, you can do what I call the pet treat trick, which is <laughs> at every, every time that you're supposed to take your medicine at like 10 in the morning or whatever, also give your pet a treat. So after enough repetitions of that, your pet will know like, oh, okay, 10 a.m. I get a treat and they will hound you. <laughs> so then you'll know like, oh, right, I'm supposed to take my meds now too. Uh, turning, <laughs> turning your pet into a timer is, yes, is, yeah pretty smart also make sure you drink enough water and get enough sleep yeah set an alarm for when you're supposed to like an hour before you're supposed to go to bed read a book or something before you try not to look at your screen i know it's hard i can't fucking put my screen down um keep a big old red solo cup next to you and constantly keep it full just you know a little simple thing oh and depression food oh i love depression food <laughs> um, <laughs> get yourself a cute little water bottle if you i actually for a while i had one of those like those big try hard water bottles that are like the, however many liters you're supposed to drink in a day oh in a single water bottle. Yeah. I loved that thing. Oh my God. <laughs> I felt so good while I had that. Cause I was always, I was always getting enough water <laughs> and I never forgot it. Cause it was so fucking big. <laughs> I, I will throw in that if you are able, cause Obviously, not everybody is, but to the best of your ability, you should get some sort of physical activity in your day. It's very helpful. Yeah, it is. And I'm not. I know when you don't feel good, it's like the last thing you want to fucking do. But but you know. like, especially in the quarantine times when we're not going anywhere, like, go out and sit on your porch and let the sun hit you because vitamin D deficiency is a real thing. Yep. Yep, and it will make important. you feel really bad. So like, it's good for your brain. Yeah, walk your dog. Yeah, yeah walk your dog. Walk your neighbor's Rob, dog. Rob said he just got back from a show to uh, back from a walk to to catch the show. Yeah, walk to your mailbox yeah. or walk to your mailbox and back. Whatever. Yeah, like, get just move move your body a little move bit. Move your body a little bit. Or put on a put put a put your favorite podcast on, hmm. mm. and then like walk up and down your stairs. <laughs> like yeah. it may not be like super exciting, but just get your body moving a little bit. Do and one uh, jumping jack. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> one jumping you, jack. Yeah, do something to move around a little bit. Whatever that is. I don't. We're not we're not looking for Olympic ability. Mm. It's just to you know, warm up your joints. Yeah. Do a couple of those cool like arm windmill things. Yeah. Call it good. Yeah. Uh, make yourself a tortilla with peanut butter and honey. That's my new favorite. Make yourself low a tortilla. effort food. Let's talk make about yourself, low effort food. A, yeah, tortilla with peanut butter and honey. Okay. Like just a little bit. Like even put it in the microwave so the peanut butter gets a little gooey. Oh my God. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. And it doesn't require anything except for like your tortilla, a spoon for the peanut butter. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I do occasionally wrestle with bouts of depression. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm not much of a depression food person. Like, it doesn't happen often enough that I have go-tos. Uh, also, usually I have someone else around who's like, have you eaten anything or have you just laid upside down on the bed? making sad noises for an hour and i'm like the <laughs> latter and what do your sad noises sound like <laughs> oh no oh i felt bad <laughs> kind of sounds like my bulldog puppy yeah that's like you know you feeling sad and i'm like mm -hmm. well, like you want to do something and i'm like mm -hmm. <laughs> no no i don't even want to open my mouth enough to say the word or no, no. <laughs> uh yeah so um then usually someone is like you want me to make you a soup oh you wanna you want some toast 
And I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you want a little food? You want a little food? You want you want some you want some cereal? So like yeah, I cereal's good. Yeah, cereal's, cereal's good usually food. cereal is usually my like I have to put something in me. Uh and the effort I have is pour bowl milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We always have either we always have Cheerios and some kind of sugar cereal. Right now it's cocoa puffs. So we got you covered. Do you want just something basic and healthy and hearty? Or do you want something fucking disgusting that you're just gonna love? I always want <laughs> something disgusting. I, I love sugar. Cereal. I love sugar cereal. I'm pretty sure we've had this. Yeah, discussion. we have. <laughs> we we right make for a Wayne while from... it was superstitious sugar sta- shapes. <laughs> it's cocoa puffs. <laughs> superstitious sugar shapes. Yeah, I got the lucky charms from Aldi. <laughs> Is that literally what they're called? No, I don't oh. remember what they're called. I don't remember what they're called either. <laughs> but superstitious sugar shapes is, mm. yep, it's real good. It's good, right? It's, it's really good. Have have cereal in your house. Have tortillas, yeah. peanut butter, honey, <laughs> top ramen. Man, I fucking, uh, I know it's not great for you, but it gets the job done. I mean, it also <laughs> it gets like top ramen. It tastes so good when you have no energy or, and you're like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. feeling like garbage. And they're like ten cents a package. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Um, just, just oh, it doesn't matter that you're not eating. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter that you're not eating healthy food. What matters is that you're eating food. Right. Get some food in your body. I also particularly like, um, <clears throat> like a protein shake. Yeah, protein um, shakes. I, or protein bars, if you have them. Yeah, like I like a good granola bar. Mm, um, no. and I like the um, Fairlife Pure Power protein shakes because. Most other ones are made with, like, fake sugar for, air quotes, health reasons. Um, but they taste disgusting because it's yeah, both... Yeah, I hate that You get sugars. that, like, chalky whey taste and then also the fake sugar taste. And they're just yeah. nasty. But the Fairlife is that, like, ultra-filtered milk. So it's super high in just natural um, milk protein. Uh, and then they, like, boost it with a little whey. So it doesn't taste like gross, chalky whey. It tastes like milk. Uh, hey. And then, like, it comes in a whole bunch of different flavors, like chocolate and strawberry banana and vanilla, and oh. all of them are good. Uh, and it's just it... add a little peanut powder to. Oh, okay, there's a powdered peanut butter that you can get too. I also <laughs> recommend this for depression food if you like to do like the liquid, like protein shakes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Peanut butter powder. You can add that shit to anything and make it like instantly like peanut buttery and rich. I, I, didn't know... <laughs> I, I actually for a while I was putting it in my coffee, which nice. wasn't great, but it was pretty good. <laughs> I will have to see if I can find some of that because I do also enjoy making a smoothie. When yeah, I have, get when I have more energy, powder. smoothies are too much energy for a depression food. You have to like, yeah. you have to like plan that ahead. You got to make a big batch yeah. of smoothie and then like put them in little cups yeah. in your fridge or whatever. Oh, oatmeal. Yeah, instant oatmeal. oatmeal instant too. oatmeal. Oh my god, okay. I, 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 that's another like, it's kind of a sugar cereal substitute for me. I love quaker oatmeal fruits and cream instant oatmeal <laughs> you can also depending on what kind of oatmeal put a little peanut butter in that too yeah yeah a friend of ours gave good, us a, a box stuff. of like they gave us a care package uh when the quarantines happened because they're very sweet and very thoughtful um and uh in it was this like high protein banana oatmeal uh oh. and i i like a lot of high protein stuff because it makes me full <laughs> yeah and st- like my I don't, it, I don't know about your... Everyone's bodies are different, but, like, if I eat a high-protein thing, then I'm not hungry for a while. Like, it makes me not feel hungry for an extended period of time, which is why I'm a, pre- a particular says, fan of that. Okay, what was H's theory about peanut butter wait, what coffee? Was, I don't know. What was your theory about peanut butter coffee? Because we'll, if it we'll was, for the typing. quote, it's good, you're absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> My puppy is barking somewhere. <laughs> okay. That it'd be really good. And I don't know why yes. it's not a widespread thing. Peanut butter coffee is incredible. There's, okay, so there's a, there's a peanut butter creamer you can get. It's like a Reese's peanut butter cup creamer. It's really actually not very good, <laughs> which is so disappointing. Uh-huh. But my favorite, my favorite ice cream, and I can only get it at places that do like custom mixes like Cold Stone, is just coffee ice cream with peanut butter cups mixed in. It's so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> coffee and peanut butter is so good. Uh, I'll have to give it a try because I also like buying the um, Carnation Breakfast Essentials powder because that's like got vitamins. Yeah, that's another really it. good. Yeah, yeah, These and then all I, just real quick, I simple, that, just get it in your body. Put it in my coffee. Oh yeah. Oh shit. I put oh. that 
like and then like the vanilla is all right in coffee too because coffee's good with both vanilla and chocolate yes uh and uh, like it doesn't make it as protein loaded if you don't put milk in it but like it doesn't make the protein and vitamins go away if you mix it into your coffee (laughs) so um where were we talking about depression food depression food yeah um this kind of like oh what'd you find rob what is this link that's oh. one of the brands, the PB Fit. I'll show you the one that I have powder. I'll show you the one that lives near where I live. The one that lives, lives near you. What? <laughs> Listen, it's the PB2. The PB2 that's, is that's the not, stuff that I use That's also not Rob. Before. That's not Rob? I thought that was Rob. No. Oh, it's H. H. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why did I think you were Rob? Who well, could say? whatever. <laughs> Just very calmly, H. I am not Rob. Um, uh, depression food and oh, um, kind of transitioning into like, gosh, this is going long. We, uh, wow, we really need outlines, don't we? Um, I also like to do the three things trick if I like am not feeling great, but I mean, the world's not gonna be put on pause just because you're not feeling great. Uh I'll come up with the three things that I have to get done that day, and normally one of them is like, take a shower. (laughs) <laughs> so there you go. There's one thing you did today. You took a shower. Maybe two is, I don't know, do your laundry or whatever else that you needed to get done. And and try to work in, if I have work that I need to do, try to work in at least a small portion of that, like finish my outline or email Monica or you know something like that. Um, because the next thing I want to talk about is how, if you're a content creator and you feel like shit, how do you, how do you get your shit done anyway? How do you work anyway if you're still feeling like garbage? Uh, man, I don't have a good answer for this that isn't power the fuck through it, which isn't good advice. Yeah. No, one of mine is like, yeah, bang your head against the wall if you must, like italicized, like, like hopefully it won't come to that. But I mean, if you got to get your work done, you sometimes you just sometimes you just got to fucking get your work done. <laughs> yeah, I am privileged to know or with the fact that like. Uh, I have, I come to real, boy, I need a fucking outline. Um, I've come to realize (laughs) that I have the privilege of knowing that my spoons are huge. Like I have an an extraordinary amount of (laughs) like mental and emotional stamina. My spoons are huge. Like, uh, I can be extremely mentally overburdened and like, just keep going, which is not great. But, like, I, I guess this is the thing about, like, pain tolerance. Like, everybody's pain tolerance is different, right? Like, yeah, some people can Sorry, deal with way more than others. And so, like, I know that I can handle a lot of mental duress before I'm like, well, that's enough. Uh, <laughs> which, well, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, which means that, like, also sometimes I have to be more mindful of that because I will push too far. Did any of that like make any sense at all, or did I just s- no? I barf I like the, into... the correlation with it being like a pain tolerance because you're right. It's kind of a, how much of the stress can you really handle before you go? I can't. I gotta fucking stop. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta know where your pain tolerance like ends. Yeah. Um, and and being able to grit your teeth and move past it not really a good thing. <laughs> Some, sometimes, sometimes that's useful, but it shouldn't be your go-to or you no. to burn yourself out so fast. Yeah. And we don't want that. We don't want you to get burnt out. Which, Which also- is why I recommend also having accountability buddies or accountability buddies. <laughs> Just basically tell people what you're working on and tell them also how you feel. Let them know your goals. Like, even if they have no ability to or even want to like try to keep you on task because you know they're like they're not your dad they're not gonna be like hey are you working unless that's something that they want to do for you sometimes just knowing oh shit i told my sister that i was gonna finish that exalted write-up say my sister doesn't play exalted my sister doesn't know what exalted is i just right. told her that was what i was gonna do today so now it's in my head of like no katie might think that i didn't do it and <laughs> sometimes that's all you need um yeah. And uh, also um, rituals. I find rituals really help me 
yeah. get into the, like, I am in the work zone now kind of a, yeah. you know, open the work portal. I have, I have two. To work dimension. Two things. One, Aurelia posted in our chat that they also have a high emotional stress tolerance and that sometimes gives them trouble setting boundaries that lets yeah. them have actual good emotional health, which, yeah, what a mood. Uh, <laughs> there's definitely been people I should have cut out of my life because they're causing they cause me much emotional stress but like I could put up with it so I didn't yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that yeah oh did my yep, work yep, tools yep. freeze no okay good uh and like that you know knowing oh I'm doing this all wrong fuck uh knowing when <laughs> to uh <laughs> Knowing when to like pull back away from that is a skill, and one that can be hard to learn. And sometimes the trial and error process is uh, painful. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, you were saying something else. What was the other point you were making? Rituals. Right, rituals. Uh, to summon forth the productivity demon. Yeah. So when we first went to uh, the quarantines. Um, I was totally, like, unmoored <laughs> and, like, yeah, okay, unstuck okay, okay, from things because, like, previously my day had been pretty structured and I would, like, uh, be like, oh, wake up, oh, go to work, um, you know, come home, rest, uh, work out or whatever, do, do something in between then and then it's like, okay, time to do freelance stuff. Um, and then, uh, then, um, then it's time to, like, have dinner, do a little bit more freelance stuff, and then, you know, go to bed. W watch TV, unwind, go to bed. Uh, and that was, like, everyday routine with, like, a couple days where I would go play our, with our two, my uh, two face-to-face -face gaming groups. Um, and, you know, it was basically like, beat, 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 beat. Here's this, here's this structure. Here's this ritual. Here's the way every day goes. Right. I know, I know it's Tuesday because we're going to this person's house. I know it's Wednesday because we're going to this person's house. And then when that ritual and like order of operations was gone, I was a hot mess for like <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> because yeah. like, yeah. I also didn't have the, the beat of... Um, going to game anymore either uh, and so it took yeah. me mm -hmm. a while to get back into the uh, I can't type and talk at the same time it it's okay I'm pulling the discord on which tea I should make next okay um, it, it took me a while to get back uh, into I had to set a new ritual for my day um, and one of the things I tried to do is work for 30 minutes and then make sure I'm taking a short break, like a minute to five minutes every half an hour. Okay. Uh, which both I'm helps my, timer. which both helps me stay on task and also is good, um, good for f just your body physically. Cause you don't want to sit all day, which my yeah, job does, but all my jobs involve sitting and staring at a screen. What were we, oh, rituals. Monica, ta I, Monica talked about her rituals. So I can talk about my ritual, surprisingly, involves tea. Um, if I have to write, I make a cup of tea, even if I don't even want to drink it, just to have it. Just the, just the steps of boiling the water, brewing the tea, setting a timer. Oh, it reminds me. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. Three minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And just having it there with the scent and the steam, and it's like, oh, I'm writing now. I don't know how that got started. It's just one of my things. What did and I then miss? The headphones and the my noise, and that's my. Uh, I'm talking about what I have to do to get into the work dimension. Oh, okay. What my noise? Have we talked about oh, my noise? Yeah. Um. So I uh I used to I had a bunch of tracks saved from my noise because I could I found a frequency that like instantly tuned my brain. Instantly. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. Like. Uh, I f you you can you can tune my noise to basically your own brain frequency. So first, of, okay, first of all, my noise it's mynoise.net, uh -huh. my m y noise.net. Um, it's it's got just a metric buttload of 
sound generators. And they range from things like um, ocean noises, rain noises, forest noises, to like more abstract kind of, ooh, it's a space soundscape. And they each of these generators has how, how many, like 10 sliders that you can adjust that are either different frequencies or different elements of the sound. Like, oh, this is the bird song in your forest noise. This is the crunch of leaves in your forest generator. Um, but they also have one that, or they have a whole section devoted to, um, oh, what are they called? The binaural noise? Binaural noises. Yeah, because um, that's what I was which, using. Yeah. If you go to, where do they keep it now on the website? There's a section called brain waves, and there's one called uh, binaural beats. I think it was binaural beats. Yeah, I, I, that it was is, one of if these. If you use headphones and this and this, I don't know. There's something about it that Monica and I have a lot of success with it, like on the higher frequencies, because it's supposed to like theoretically it like syncs up with your fucking brain waves and makes your brain wake up and focus on shit. Unless you're trying to, there's actually like a setting for like calming down and going to sleep too. Cause then it's like a real low deep. It's, I don't know. It's some sort of weird it's, brain yeah, magic. I, for the description on the site, it like plays at the frequency that your brain moves at. Oh, puppy. Yes. Yeah, it's this, this noise machine, the binaural wave generator. And so like, they're going to play grab face for a second. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> yeah the binaural uh, beat generator yeah and it like plays a sound a beat and a you can tune it to sound however you want but it's like just an abstract sort of like you ever listen to like ambient noise music it's sort of like that yes um, and they have a lot of those here too yeah um and they also it's worth pointing out have a bunch of different generators specifically for rpgs so if you're running a game online and you want to point them to a specific set of generator... Oh, Alexa, stop. <laughs> this is bonus experience, co-starring Alexa. Um, We're not there's sponsored. Like an RPG, there's an, like an <laughs> RPG dungeon generator nice. that's got like dripping water and rattling chains. Cool. And there's a bunch of really cool soundscapes basically you can use to like customize your background music. I really highly recommend them. It's like it's like one guy with a crazy set of microphones that goes out on location to record these things and they're all just incredible sounds. We like fall asleep to the same it's like the tin roof rain. We fall asleep to tin roof rain every night now. So it's, <laughs> it's just magic. It was really interesting because the uh the same brainwave that tuned my brain to focus uh, also had the weird side effect of calming down general anxiety. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, like, uh, when I was regularly, like, competing in miniatures tournaments, I would put one or two earbuds in and, like, just put my binaural focus on loop, like, real low so I could still hear people, but high enough that I could still hear the pulse. Uh, and it would both prime my brain to like think about playing this brain heavy game and also make me not panic before playing that's so weird and cool brains are so weird brains are so weird <laughs> yeah um, I, anyway i love this i love this site i like donate to them frequently and get like they'll you get like free goodies if you donate like even a single dollar <laughs> it's 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 cool stuff nice um but yeah that's that's an important part of my ritual um I haven't used the brain music in a while, doing things. but I should because I oh, liked you it. Should get back to that brain music. Uh, I f actually find relevant to to two of our interests. I actually find that um, the uh, Spirit Deus track from Three Houses uh, does the same thing for me. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I have found I have a thirty minute loop that I will put on and then do my work for thirty minutes and then get up and take a break, uh, and it's pretty rad and for whatever reason the underlying beat in that does the same like must be at the same frequency as my brain because it makes me focus like that too i will post a link in a minute when i'm done working what i'm working on <laughs> do you have uh do you have any like music that makes your brain do that like have you found any particular no, tracks or I, whatever that anything your... instrumental generally does the trick but it has to be long enough that I won't recognize when it repeats mm -hmm. um most which is why mostly I just stick with with my noise just like ambient sounds mm -hmm. um 
There's even like they even have a generator for like uh like uh background voice mumbling. Like if you're like, oh I miss going to the coffee house and doing my work because because there's always be this, you know, background conversation. They have a generator for for voice mumbles Wild. that are calibrated in such a way that you can never pick out an actual word <laughs> so huh. it doesn't distract you it's really good the whole site is really well done um do you have any other like pro tips do you have any other pro tips for just getting your work done even if you feel bad i mean truthfully i am not a pro at i'm not either at maintaining I'm my shit out. stuff like uh, like i've been taking like herbal stimulants now i'm not i'm not the best <laughs> i'm not the best at this yet Oh, there it is. It's right there in my history because I use this shit a lot. <laughs> Did you have any more questions? Oh, I, I ask as she's walking away. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming back. Nah, man. I was going to move on to my last point, which yeah. is how to plan ahead for feeling bad when you're feeling good. Okay. What? Let's talk about Which is about another it. like really important skill. Yeah, it is. Especially if you're a content creator and you stick to some sort of a schedule or deadlines or things like that, which most of my content is on schedule or deadlines. Like I either have to do a podcast every two weeks or, or, and, and, or I am working on freelance deadlines or my agent has given me homework and I've decided not to blow her off, um, <laughs> which I would never do. <laughs> you hear that V? I would never blow you off. So... When you feel good, it's easy to think, I'll never feel bad again. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Even if you have chronic mental illness, and of course you will feel bad again, like, no shit. But it's really easy to think, I've got this now, and just forget that you ever felt bad. <laughs> I mean, it's one of the things that we do try to do for the show is have a backlog of episodes so that we don't have to constantly exactly. record right up, right up on the deadline, except we fucked exactly. it up this time. <laughs> We we ran out of buffer. Sometimes that happens. It does happen. Um, it's good to plan ahead for the times when you know you're not going to feel good or the times that... Oh, what was I trying to say? Um, try to plan ahead for figuring out what is going to trigger you not feeling good. Sometimes this is something that you can't control because it's like an outside stimulus that just kind of happens to you and you go, great, I'm going to feel like shit for five days now. Thanks, I hate it. Um, <laughs> but it could also be... I mean, if you're someone who menstruates it could be it honestly could be related to your cycle um i have a really i have an app i've been using for literally years because i finally found a decent period tracking app um and i just checked it's on apple and google play it's called clue um it's really i like it because the the ui is not all cutesy and like overly feminine and like hee hee oopsie you're having a bleedy time like it's <laughs> It's like, this is for medical purposes. This is to help you get in touch with your, like, what's going on with your freaking body. <laughs> like, it's very straightforward. Um, but also really, but also really well designed. It's not like just a spreadsheet. It, it looks really nice. Um, but it also ch allows you to attach, like, a, a fucking enormous amount of symptoms to every day that you're tracking. Huh. Um, so it has, it has settings for, like, tracking your motivation, tracking your focus, tracking your energy level, tracking your general mood, tracking if you were feeling feeling kind of salty and trying to pick fights, you know, like like a bunch of different, like if you had a good hair day, like all sorts of different things, uh, which maybe the good hair day doesn't affect your mental health that much, but I thought I'd throw that in there. Um, hey, maybe it made you feel better. Maybe it made and you feel better. brightened your, your mood, and that did affect so, your, your mental health. But anyway. With enough... Um, I mean, you, if you use that reliably enough, within a couple of months, you should be able to figure out some sort of correlation between like, oh, around this time is when I'm ovulating and suddenly my focus drops off. So then you can start to plan ahead for like, oh, okay, there's going to be about a week during this month when my focus is going to be really terrible. So I need to kind of make up for that week that I might lose. Um, if you don't menstruate, or even if you do and you just want extra accountability i still recommend keeping a journal of like not like a deep not like a detailed like a live journal you know what i mean like like uh, there's this whole journal culture that drives me crazy <laughs> <laughs> i wanted to start a bullet journal for forever but every time you go to look for like bullet journal tips and tricks it's all these like 
fucking try hard. I spent 50 hours on this one page and it's all color coded. And for some people that's like their thing. So maybe I shouldn't be so dismissive. Yeah, I mean, But for me, it was just intimidating. Like, okay, I guess I can't do this unless I make it an art project, which I was not interested in. I just needed a way to like keep track of my shit. Oh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure for some people, the craftiness is a release. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, it's a chore. Like, my yeah. job is, is being crafty and creative. I just need something to write down, like, had a bad poop. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm not going to put that in my fucking, like, calligraphy with watercolor violets. <laughs> had a bad poop. <laughs> now I really anyway. want you to, though. Keep a journal. Keep a journal <laughs> no, to find no, possible Rob, triggers. We're not making out of bad poop calligraphy t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like really big cursive writing. April. <laughs> just beautiful like highlighter colors. Had bad a, poop. Bad April poop. Second. <laughs> Had a bad poop. Keep a journal. Find possible triggers. It could be food related. It could be your allergies. It could be any. Of, it could be poop related. It could be any of these things, and you won't know until you can start keeping track of it. <laughs> Rob is is uh, Rob is distracting us. Oh, so yeah, <laughs> on the subject of of keeping track of things and like stuff that Trying makes you productive and whatnot. Um, we talked about lateral thinking in the extended version of our last episode. Mm-hmm. Which I don't think went into the full the the, the public general public release version. No, um, I didn't. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um, Margaret apologizes. I don't know why you're apologizing to me, but I don't like Margaret's apologizing either. She never apologizes for Margaret anything. Margaret would never apologize for anything ever. Hashtag Margaret would never. Margaret would never. Um, so like, so I'm gonna talk about it here again for our audience, uh, because it's a strategy. Um, so if you are. ADD, ADHD, um, you may sometimes feel like you can't get anything done. Uh, and the truth of the matter is, is that is not true. <laughs> um, you can actually get a lot of things done, but you have to, like... <laughs> you have to do them all do at them once. Do them all at once. <laughs> um, well, but, so, like, one of the things that... A thing I read was basically, like, lateral thinking. So you do one thing you have to do and another thing at the same time. Um, yeah. usually the other yeah. thing is less important, but entertaining, which is usually how I, how I do it. Uh, and then I just b- b- bounce back and forth between them. Um, for like, me, sometimes this is just like, I have to get my laundry done. I don't want to, there's a new game Grumps Monopoly episode. I'm going to have that on my phone while I do my laundry. Yeah. <laughs> like, so <laughs> I don't find that listening to something is as engaging as like working on some writing I have to take care of or um, recording a podcast while you're working at your day job or, um, hey. <laughs> or, you know, anything like that. Like I, um, I have two screens. One screen is my day job work. One screen is my other stuff. Um, and sometimes I can get too caught up in the other stuff. And I have to realize that like, oh, I spent the last 30 minutes talking about exalted. I should probably go back to work. I should probably minimize Discord for a minute. Um, but, like, when I'm splitting my attention between uh, something I need to do and something I want to do, uh, I usually get both of them done pretty well. Uh, and then I get two things done instead of one thing. Um, unless I've screwed up all these things because I'm talking to you, I'm right now... I, today I've been more productive in the morning because I've been talking to you this whole time than I've been all week. Oh hey! Like I'm I'm way ahead of my where I should be by 11 a.m. curve. I have a I have a I I check in with myself at 11 a.m. and if I'm at a certain amount of production, it's gonna be a good day. And if I'm not, I'm fucked. (laughs) Man, you've got your shit together way better than me. (sighs) I you know, (laughs) I guess. (laughs) I'm over here. I'm over here with my terrible poops. I also have terrible poops sometimes. Especially when Everyone. I'm on my period. Everyone has a terrible poop sometimes. Yeah. Even your heroes. I hope I'm nobody's your hero. Worst, your worst enemies have terrible poops sometimes. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm pro- I promise I'm done making bad poop jokes. Um, we should at least 
if we're gonna wrap up, we should at least shout out Nerdy Kepi. We didn't do a mid episode. Oh yeah, we, we didn't do a mid episode no, cool. break, so that's fine. So, but we should still shout out Nerdy Kepi, uh, especially since it's Pride Month. Oh hell yeah, get your shit at Nerdy Kepi for Pride Month. Yeah. N e r d y k e p p i e dot com. And what's that? What's that promo code? Special coupon code. Promo code BXPCast for ten percent off. Ten percent off your entire order. Never expires. Never expires. Multi use. Yeah. Get some. Get, get your yourself some. Stuff. Get yourself some cool pride shoes. They do take a little while to deliver. So, uh, if you order now, you'll definitely have them by the end of the month. No, no guarantees that you'll have them for whatever event you might want, might want to go to. But don't go to any events because the don't no because the think Rona still exists. It didn't yeah, go Rona's away. Still out there. She's waiting. Yeah. Um, Who's going to get you? <laughs> uh, you can also get a cool mask. They have masks uh, in a variety yes. of different styles. And apparently, according to their Facebook, um, a, a hijab-wearing customer had contacted them to say that their masks work really well with hijabs. Nice. That's why Excellent. she specifically had ordered from them. <laughs> so Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have the outline available so we can also do our other obligation, which is shout out at MMP show? Um, no. That's a, no. That sounds. That sounds like a <laughs> firm no. Give me a second. <laughs> hmm. Can we just like list a couple of them? Like, hey, she's a super geek. We did. down with D and D. Yeah, we did. She's a super geek. Shang last time. New Essel. There's some others, I'm sure. There the are. misdirected Mark show. <laughs> <laughs> Rob has released us from that obligation in favor of the Freedom Fund shout out. Oh, all right. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for freeing us from our oath. I Rob said that as soon as I got the the link open. <laughs> <laughs> pandas talking games. How can we forget pandas about talking pandas? Games. We'll just list. We'll just list some shows. <laughs> just, just name them. <laughs> <laughs> Rob has to go off then. No, we're not going to read the ad. We're just going to list names of shows. We should come up with a few that don't exist yet, but should. Oh, and you should watch the FM Gamers stream. The Lounge. The Lounge, yeah. Doc. We we were on the Lounge yeah. once. We should go on the Lounge again. Yeah, we should. And we should go on She's a Super Geek. <laughs> Listen, did you ask Senda? Did I ask Senda? I have not asked Senda. Did you ask Senda? My brain has been kind of full. I forgot to ask Senda. My brain's been pretty full, too. Let's be real. My brain shrunk, though, so it can't hold as much as it normally does. Oh, that's a powerful mood. Powerful anyway, you mood. should go to misdirectedmark.com and check out all our good shows. Yeah, How's man. that? Huh? We're on a great network. They're so Hashtag cool. had a bad poop. Thanks, Bur- Thanks Rob. had a bad poop. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, we were done. We were done with bad poops. <laughs> uh thank you rob we hope that you guys friends neighbors countrymen who showed up to um hang out with us for an hour and 40 minutes while we slowly <laughs> recorded an episode enjoyed the bxp hangout because i think we're gonna have to do it again because we need more than one episode in the backlog because we're this releasing was, next monday this was more than one episode are you kidding me i'm splitting this into two <laughs> all right cool i'm milking this baby i mean if you just want to hang out with me on air more times that's fine because apparently it makes me get work done yeah all right it doesn't make me get anything done except for making a lot of tea Oh, my leg's really itchy. I gotta get some writing done today. Okay. That's gonna be fun. All right. I'm starting a new project today, Monica. What are you starting? Can you tell me? Um, can you? I can. Okay. My my next work in progress has the working title of uh, Girls and Thrones. Okay. It's a contemporary upper YA slash crossover about a very anxious young woman who is basically Bernadetta. Okay. Who um, is really into this... Uh, not Game of Thrones fantasy series. Um, and she does a lot of cosplay and she's really into historical costuming and she wins tickets to a a LARP getaway weekend based on this fantasy franchise. And it's basically this intersection that I get to write about of role-playing and nervous gay girls. <laughs> and the main antagonist is her narcissist mother 
who butts in on everything she does. <laughs> so Narcissist Mom shows up like a day into the getaway weekend. And she's like, I'm here to win the game because there's there's going to be like some sort of a game of a throne. Okay. Um, <laughs> so then the... <laughs> <laughs> No, no. <laughs> well, uh, really, I designed our T-shirt. Let me know where to send the fee for graphic design. <laughs> Thank you right. very much. Well, I guess we can't not put it on Redbubble now. This has been bonus experience. <laughs> Email us at uh, bonusdxpcast at gmail.com. You remember. Twitter, Twitter is uh, at bxpcast. No, it's bonusdxpcast. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and I run that Twitter. <laughs> I'm on Twitter. I'm at Ray W. Cole. Monica's on Twitter. She's at, you know, Sun. That's correct. Nailed it. And every... Oh, I'm so fucking sick of y'all. <laughs> Everybody get out. Nah, let's go. All right. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you very much. <laughs> That's me smooching your forehead, but like, like really wet, like <laughs> ant kisses. Now you're all spitty. Sorry. Let me wipe that off. Okay. Everybody get out. Let's go. Change it if you want to. Don't forget to change it if you want to. Don't forget to change it if you want to. Bye. Bye. Bonus Experience is written and produced by Monica and Ray, and edited by Margaret. Our logo and art are by Nino Studios. Check them out on Instagram and Twitter. Our theme song is Reuse Noise with the Light by CDK, and is used under the Attribution Non-Commercial Creative Commons license. Bonus Experience is a part of the Misdirected Mark Network. This podcast is a permanent charm, reducing the difficulty of all storyteller roles by your essence. We'll see you next time.